Hi, I'm Matthew Latazic. I'm from West Warren, Massachusetts. I'm in currently for breaking and entering and larceny from a building. I'm doing two years with two years on and after. I'm Dylan Patchen. I'm 27 years old. I'm from East Brookfield, Massachusetts. I'm here for breaking and entering, larceny. I got a two-year sentence for it. These two young men have lost a full decade of their lives to heroin and jail. They say they're tired of living this way. And they spoke to me from behind bars to allow us into their criminal minds in the hopes that what they have to say can help us. Both telling me it was their heroin addictions that forced them to break into people's homes. How much money did you need to fuel your habit? Anywhere from $250 to $300 a day. I don't even think about stealing I don't until I start using. Um, I start using and it's just, I don't think like a normal human being. What did you look for in a home before you broke into it? Um, I would look for cars being in the driveway, uh, lights on, TV on, um, the neighbors, whether or not they're around. I wouldn't break into a house that had a dirt lawn. You know, if it had a nice green grass, nice walkway, I mean, I knew they had money. Matt and Dylan liked the mornings to break into homes after the adults were off to work and the kids at school. And neither one of them ever broke anything to get inside. Like I never broke a door, I've never broke a window. If the doorknob didn't turn, I didn't go in. If you put like a sign of entry, then it makes it obvious. Then the cops are gonna get called and then they're gonna be investigating it and then they're gonna be looking for who did it and chewing fingerprint checks and all that. When you went into a house, what were you looking for? Jewelry or money. And where would you go? Master bedroom. What kind of jewelry are you looking for in there? Um, rings, necklaces, watches. Will you just take anything that's there? Uh, gold, you know, mostly gold. Both Dylan and Matt told me within hours of a house break, the precious jewelry was gone to pawn shops and drug dealers. You hit seven houses in two weeks. How much money do you think you got out of those houses? Probably over $10,000. $10,000. And where'd all that money go? Drugs. And both men told me they were always careful. Many victims never even knew they were robbed. Because if you take everything, it's obvious it's gone. You know, someone must have took it. But if you go in and you see a pile of $200, you take 50 bucks or 100, they're gonna think, oh, maybe I spent it. Where did I put it? Two lives locked behind bars. Two men hoping their criminal minds will help you. Property crimes occur more frequently where the most people live. Now, this map from Mass.gov shows the top 10 towns in the Commonwealth where burglaries occur. Boston comes in at number one. Lynn comes in at number 10. But I want to show you another map. It shows the crime rate by population. Eight of the 10 towns that we showed you on that last map are no longer here. Instead, Holyoke came in at number one, Auburn at number 10. What does this tell us? It tells us that crime occurs everywhere based on location and population. Now, if those two burglars taught us anything about safety, it's to lock your doors, don't open the door for anyone you don't know, and be smart about where you store your valuables. For the crime property stats in your town, visit myfoxboston.com. I'm Bob Ward, Fox 25 News.